This is Coombe Cassis for Eiffel TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at the O2 Indigo. I'm joined by Brad Pauls. That's me. Quickly changed to you, haven't you? Oh, the shower and everything. It's lovely. You look ready to go out. I am. I'm going to see my family and have a shandy. Don't awesome. blame you. Don't blame <laughs> you. Um, right, um, let's talk about it. Um, talk. It was a close fight, a very close fight yeah. with um, Kelly. You believe, though, you did enough to win that fight? Just, yeah. I'm, I'm not deluded to say it wasn't close. I, yeah. know, I know it was close, um, but it's 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 how it's how you want to how you want to see it. Like I feel like I landed a lot of cleaner jabs early on, and he pressed me a little bit later on in the fight. But massive, massive respect to Ryan Kelly. People like him are dangerous people to box because he fight anyone, and he'll give 100%. And it was it was a close fight. Mm. Look, I always think for people watching it, especially at ringside, we watch it and we think. Like to, like I just said to you, like would like to watch that again, kind of score it again, etc. But for yourselves, you're in it and you're kind of, you're pro you, so you're thinking them close rounds, you've taken them, etc., etc. Yeah. But um, I suppose for yourself, you will want to kind of watch that, dissect that, and kind of maybe even score it and see if there was an argument there that Kelly may have won. Yeah, that's it. I've got, I have to watch it back and. Whatever fights you have, win, lose or draw, you tend to not remember them so accurately because there's a lot going on, there's a lot of adrenaline. And I can't tell you every single punch that I landed or missed and every punch he landed or missed. Um, but you get the feel when you're in there, you understand it's a close fight. And my corner knew the same when they said, you need to go and win this last round. And I feel like I won the last round, but it, yeah, I'm not deluded, it's a close fight. I know, I know this. I think it's probably a, I'll, I'll put it down to a fighter's mentality that, um, I mean, I've never heard a fighter kind of come out off a close fight and go, yeah, to be honest with you, I lost that fight, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Especially at the level you're at. I've never heard a fighter do that. So I'm not saying there hasn't. I'm just saying I've never heard that. So I think for yourself, again, it's it's not even about losing or winning the fight. It's for you correcting what you believe you did wrong or... Yeah, I yeah. Think how, are you, how are you going to improve if you yeah. look at that and you are I was amazing. I wasn't even close, I was amazing. You're not going to learn nothing. Yeah. I'll watch that and I'm going to learn so much from that fight. And you got to remember, it's my first time stepping up in these situations. I've come from small hall and grafting my way up. And it was my first fight on a televised show today and it's took me seven years to get here. So maybe a little bit of the nerves got, got the better of me sometimes. But I was saying to my coach after, it's a little bit like Sod's Law because every time I stepped up on small hall, I've got highlight reel knockout. And I do it on TV, and I'm a fucking fight in my life. <laughs> Sounds. But, I mean, to be fair, I mean, well, listen, like, I know you know your boxing. Ryan Kelly has upset the apple cart, and he's the way fighter coming in against you on this show yeah. on more than one occasion. And we know what Ryan Kelly's about, and if you're not on it, Ryan Kelly can cause you problems. But you knew this anyway before you come into the fight. Yeah, like, if you're no good and you fight Ryan, you'll know about it. Yeah. And I said to him after, I was like, mate, massive respect like, for what he does. And I was like, you'll beat most of the middleweights out there in this country, I think. Um, so eventually he's going he's gonna to get his time. He's going to beat one of these guys on their shows. But it just wasn't tonight. But yeah, it was close. So tomorrow, yeah. after you've had a shandy, in your words, by the way, <laughs> um, you'll watch that back yep. and you'll be open to the fact of kind of, not just people's opinions, but kind of you'll be subjective and honest about each round and, and, and see where like I said more so where you went wrong if you went wrong yeah that's it I watch it with a mute button on because that can sway you it does it always does. watch it with always. a mute button because like it is people talk about commentary etc but commentary does sway people's opinions not for yourself because you're in the fight it's different but I'm yeah. just saying in when you general watch it you back, just it watch does. it back with no commentary yeah. makes you see things maybe that are not there but I'm going to watch it back and I'll probably watch it with my coach and he'll say this is what you did wrong here, here and here Yeah. and this is how we're going to learn but yeah lessons learnt man and you know what, I'm happy I got the win I mean move on to bigger and better things but I'll learn a lot from that more than I've probably learned fighting 10 journeymen on a small all do you know what I mean I'll learn 10 times more from that so yeah do you think there's a a cause for a rematch if it was pushed by your promoters or, or Kelly's team, etc., or Kelly himself? Yeah, yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah. I, would, I wouldn't blame him. Um, rematch for the British title? Possible. Linus does me a favour, win tonight and then vacates. Rematch for the British. And you know you're going to get a good fight. And as long as the fans see a good fight, I'm happy. So uh, that's possible, you know. It's not even a bad shout. Well, Brad, listen, I don't think you can be any more honest than that, like I said to you, without watching it back and kind of being 
uh, subjective in that way. I don't think you can be any more honest. You, you know, you're you're admitting it's a close fight, and you know, you, like I said, you'll watch it back tomorrow, and your opinion may change. It may not. You may still think, watch it back, and think, listen, I did enough to win that, which is your entitlement to do. Yeah, yeah, that's it. We'll have a little look and see see what we come up with. Just a quick question: Have you ever interviewed a Cornish person before? From Cornwall. From Cornwall. You ain't, have you? I've never been to Cornwall. What's wrong with you, man? Explore your own lands a little bit. It's a beautiful. Do you place. know how long it takes me to get to Cornwall? Five and a half hours. Yes. How I did know. you know that? Because I drive there often. <laughs> I'm driving there on Sunday. Are you the first Cornish person? I'm the first Cornish oh, person. Oh, no, actually, I've interviewed Gary Cornish. He's it's, it's Scottish, <laughs> you are. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst guy. Sorry. All right. Uh, sounds. Maybe. No, let me. I'll give you some history. Bob Fitzsimmons, I think, was the last Cornish champion. That uh, was. And we all know about. <laughs> we all know about. Yeah, him. yeah, that's it. But uh, I was just wondering. I didn't know if you'd interview the Cornish person before, but you, you have now. But so. you don't actually live in Cornwall, do you? Born and raised, but. Yeah, but you not, don't live there now, do you? I visit. But I, I have to train. I have to train. <laughs> I have to train up here. Right? So I'm not going to do go far in Cornwall. Am I? I'll start surfing or something. Do you know what I mean? I need right. to come here, come if to I come ever go to Cornwall, I'm going to name drop you, by the way. They'll love you. Yeah? Yeah, or you get rotten tomatoes thrown at you. Either one. Okay. <laughs> Brad, listen, let's say to you, whatever people think about tonight, you've done your job. If you rematch, you rematch, and like I said yeah. to you, I think you've been honest about your performance tonight. Yeah. Thank you, mate. Appreciate your time. Top man, and we'll catch up soon. Nice one, please. Thank you, mate. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.